Hey yo, it's Damo, and yesterday I found a way to get a Game Boy Advance slash Game Boy Color slash original Game Boy emulator on an iPad or iPhone without the need for jailbreaking. So I thought I would share that with you because why the hell wouldn't I? Let's do it. Now I'm filming this on my iPad because of reasons, uh, so deal with that. The main reason being it's a better aspect ratio for editing, but the exact same method does work on an iPhone. So let's go, let's continue with this. First step is to open settings, and once you're in settings, you're going to go to date and time. And then you are going to set the date to any time before the 19th of February. I'm going to go with the 18th of February because it has an 8 in it. And that's my only reasoning. Uh, next up, we are going to open Safari. And that, um, as I didn't, that not, mm, my friend was using my iPad and, um, it's not, uh, shut up. Once you're in Safari, you're going to go to GBA for iOS app dot com which is on the screen right now and will also be in the description because why wouldn't you put it in the description if you can? So I'm going to do that for you. Once you're there, you'll be greeted with Purple. Hello Purple, how are you today? And obviously we're going to click on the download GBA for iOS 2.0 button. Uh, there are now some pictures on the download page, which is beautiful. And here is the reason we changed the device's date because the website told us to. Uh, apparently there are some issues sometimes with launching it if it's before or after the date and the stuff. So just do the thing and then you can click the download button and all will be well. You're going to click install because what else are you going to click? Cancel? That would ruin the whole process. And it will start installing and apparently finish installing very quickly. Once it's finished installing you can open GBA for iOS and then close it shortly after. Go into settings and set the date back to the real date. Uh, because now it will work regardless of date, but there will be a message explaining the things when you first open it. And now it works. You've got a thing. Uh, that's great. How do you play the games? Well, there is a handy plus button that you can click, which will take you straight to a browser where you can download ROMs. However, don't download ROMs you don't own because that's illegal and I don't condone piracy. It'll start downloading, and then shortly after, it'll finish downloading. Then you click all up on it, as you do, and it will launch the ROM. Oh, English. Fantastic. And I have found it to be a very pleasant experience playing on here. You've got a very nice purple um, Game Boy skin, which actually is customizable, but I'm not going to tell you how because the app tells you how, so there's no point in me telling you as well, is there? Oh, look, let's press start. Everything works perfectly. Oh, yes, let's save the state. Oh, fantastic. Let's not. I changed my mind. So there you go. That's how you get a Game Boy Advance slash Game Boy Color slash original Game Boy emulator on your iPhone or iPad without jailbreaking, and um, I don't really know why Apple hasn't stopped it, but I'm really glad that they haven't. Thank you, Apple, for either not noticing or not caring. I appreciate it greatly. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with any friends who might want to play games on their iOS device that are of the Game Boy persuasion. You can also check out my channel and look at all my other videos because there are other ones and I do have them there and you might like them, so give it a go. And then if you do like the videos on my channel, feel free to subscribe. I post new videos every Saturday and Wednesday and occasionally in between if I feel like it. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, have a beautiful existence. I appreciate your soul. Goodbye.